good evening everyone show me thumbs up if you are uh, if you are able to listen to me yes friends <coughs> yes friends show me thumbs up if my voice is clear if you don't have any difficulty in terms of listening <coughs> yes friends be quick yeah thank you very much thank you <coughs> friends see as a part of junior lecturers to be a junior lecturer so there are three important there are four important parts that you have as a part of this so i i can say good evening to everyone and let us proceed with our discussion <coughs> friends once we look at at syllabus syllabus for uh, junior lecturers examination there are four major important parts first part is going to be genre movement schools concepts and the second one there are 20 texts and third part english language teaching i made a special video on how you can prepare for english language teaching previous in my previous video was friends in this video i am planning to focus only on genres movements schools concepts so i am going to give you some basic idea about some not just a small basic idea maybe a broader outlook and how you can get and what and how you can plan and your preparation for this examination <clears throat> and once you look at i am not going to going into details of uh, part 3 part 4 part 5 like criticism and uh, different critical moments only and genres moments schools and concepts with regard to and how you can be how you can score very good marks what could be the average marks that you can have based on these <coughs> concepts so my focus is going to be my focus is going to be how are you going to have good marks and how can you improve your score as a part of genres as a part of movements as a part of schools as a part of concepts so with regard with regard to that different concepts were given like where you are required to focus on genre poetry genre fiction genre prose genre drama and origin development element forms and different types of uh, these genres so with regard to this you will you can expect 3 to 5 bits definitely in your exam at least 1 to 2 bits 1 to 2 bits on every concept <coughs> what is required to do first focus on different definitions that are given that are so popular beginning from classical period <coughs> beginning from classical period so there are nearly 20 20 to 30 important definitions given by different experts and focus on that for example and previously as a part of apd apdl ap jl examination there was a bit poetry means not turning one's loose of emotions it is an escape from emotions it is given by t s eliot from like this poetry means criticism of life poetry reports to criticism of life this is given by matthew arnold from next uh, you see poetry means not turning and uh, putting right words in right right order this is given by poets are liars they have to be banished from society this is the definition given by plato in dash republic and the poets are the creators of new knowledge this is given by aristotle poetry means mimesis poetry is a form of mimesis this is first given by aristotle in dash book poetics <coughs> like you need to know some of the popular definitions given poetry means what after was th- what after was thought that was so well expressed and this is given by alexander pope you need to know poetry means and poetry reports to spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings and emotions recollected in tranquility like as an exp- as an as an aspirant of junior lecturer or degree lecturer you must have thorough knowledge of nearly 30 to 40 popular definitions of english literature that was repeated 
that were repeated as a part of net set jldl examinations previously you need to focus on and you need to also focus on what are the various forms of poetry beginning from epic epic mock epic sonnet elegy pastoral elegy <coughs> ballad lyric ode hoku limerick lay and you see and uh, dramatic monologue dramatic lyric and occasional poem prothalamian epithalamian lay like there are nearly 25 important types of 25 plus important forms of poetry friends there was a bit which of the following is not a narrative poem and in a station of metro written by and ezra pound is an example for hoku hoku reports to dash a japanese kind of poetry the following reports to a poem composed in 17 syllables 575 syllables it is called hoku and like the following reports to a song that is sung near by the bridal chamber epithalamian and the following reports to in epic the following foot is used i am in which of the following is the first traditional epic first literary epic latest literary epic the following is composed in blank words epic you will get who of the who is who, who wrote a lot of uh, elegies in elegies in literature during classical period virgil who is called virgil of english literature matthew arnold and uh, irregular word is introduced by abram cowley what is a common word used in english literature answer irregular word like you will get a lot of bets friends so you need to know origin who coined regular word irregular word pindaric word horatian word what is trope antistrophe epot plenty of things that you need to know you are required to get all that stuff okay like that you need to focus on and for example if you look at sonnet what is sonnet what is italian sonnet what is and uh, petrarchan sonnet what is english sonnet what is shakespearean sonnet what is meridian sonnet what is cartel sonnet what is and uh, you see sonnet cycle sonnet ear sonnet sequence plenty of terms that are connected to because as an aspirant of junior lecturer and genre which means where you are required to have all this detailed information to be into that field because one mark one bit carries two marks and you see how important it is going to be <coughs> next like that and what is the origin of epic origin of ode ode is popularized by pindar ode is popularized during in english literature by cowley what are the, what is the common form you may also get tintanabe you are going to read tintanabe written by tintanabe written by william wordsworth is an example for answer irregular ode like that you will get plenty of bits what what is the first word in literature what is the first word in english literature to the immortal memory and friendship of the noble pair sir lucius carey and sir h morrison written by and ben johnson is considered to be the first ode what is the regular ode what is the oration ode an oration ode upon cromwell written from ireland plenty of bits my friends and elegy is introduced by theocritus and uh, elegy refers to lamentation who, who wrote a lot of elegies in the form of dream allegories from german rainer maria rilke you need to know what is the first dream allegory in english book of duchess written by jeffrey chaucer you need to have some basic strong foundation about genre again you see drama what is drama what is tragedy what is comedy what is tragic comedy what are the ideas of plato aristotle what is anagnorisis there are plenty of terms that are connected to what is anagnorisis what is tragedy definition repeated several times recently look at tspsc 2017 question paper of telangana gurukula degree lecturers telangana gurukula junior lecturers 2017 2018 <coughs> rather refers to the imitation action the imitation of an action that is serious having magnitude complete in itself in the medium of poetic and the manner of dramatic rather than the narrative presentations involving the incidents of pity and fear where with the catharsis of such emotions very lengthy definition given by aristotle repeated several times even today even recent times this is defined by aristotle the following is not a part of definition given by aristotle like that you get what is tragedy what is seneca tragedy modern tragedy classical tragedy romantic tragedy bold was tragedy tragedy of tragedy bloodshed tragedy you will get a bit because as a part of your syllabus hamlet is an example for revenge tragedy bloodshed tragedy seneca tragedy what is the first seneca tragedy in english 
Gorbadak. What is the first uh, Seneca tragedy written and uh, popular in classical literature, Prometheus Bound? Oedipus the King, sorry, Oedipus the King written by Sophocles. And what are the popular Seneca tragedies written by John Webster, The White Devil, Death of Malfi? And what is the popular and Seneca tragedy written by Thomas, Thomas Kitt, Spanish tragedy? The White Devil, plenty of examples, my friends. So you need to know what is Seneca tragedy. What is a tragedy that follows three notes and chorus is called classical tragedy. Who are the popular classical critics? Achilles, Sophocles, Plotus, Achilles, Sophocles, Euripides, popular and classical tragedy experts. And romantic tragedy. What are the popular examples for romantic tragedy? And you see Shakespeare's <coughs> Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, Macbeth. And a tragedy where you find a lot of chorus, it is called Seneca tragedy. A drama that is not intended to be written to be performed on the stage only to be read answer closet drama what is the first closet drama samson agnostics what is the 20th century closet drama answer murder in the cathedral you need to know all these information my friends so there are a lot of technical terms what is morality play miracle play mystery play interludes so four piece is written by john haywood and the following is not a four piece and Palmer partner, both Carrie Pedler. And uh, Tybee's wife, it's written by. Every man is an example for morality play. A play that is based on the lives of saints. Miracle play. A play that is based on the sermons of the Bible. Answer, mystery play. You need to know different technical terms. Comedy, romantic comedy. And uh, sentimental comedy. Comedy of humors. Comedy of manners. Anti-sentimental comedy. Farts. High comedy. Low comedy. Comedy of manners. Theatre of Absurd, and uh, you see, and social comedy, a lot of examples, my friends. Theatre of Absurd is coined by, Comedy of Manners is coined by, Theatre of Ma and Comedy of Manners was popularized by, Pop and Comedy of Manners took inspiration from, and F Comedy of Humans was popularized by, latest bit, Ben Johnson, What are the Four Fluids, Blood, Phlegm, Color, Melancholy, and David Compton, Irving Brodel. Nigel Dennis are associated with comedy of manners. What does it mean by manners? What is the new form of comedy of manners in 20th century comedy of manners? Samuel Beckett, Harold Pinter, Edward Albee, Arthur Edmow, and Eugene Amesco connected to theater of absurd. So anti-sentimental comedy is popularized by Oliver Goldsmith. Sentimental comedy was popularized by Richard Steele. And the tender husband is an example for every man in his humor, every man out, out of his humor, Example for comedy of manners, sorry, comedy of humans, and Walfon, alchemist, commander, plenty of things that you need to know. So, in depth, sometimes you should also know popular definitions given by experts. Experts like Anton Chekhov, Andrew Gibson, and J.B. Shaw, Oscar Wilde, they defined different terms. Next, fiction. What is fiction? What is novel? What is short story? You have only one essay, feminist essay. You have seven important novels as a part in order to be a junior lecturer. And seven novels, <coughs> you see, what is dystopian novel? If you know that, you come to know a lot of lies. What is post-colonial novel? You need to know because you need to read things fall apart. An untouchable social novel. Think and test of the devils, a social novel. And you see plenty. What is proletarian novel? What is social novel? Picaresque novel, gothic novel, historical novel, magic realistic novel, experimental novel, and stream of consciousness novel, absurd novel, epistolic novel, gothic novel, realistic novel. Okay, plenty of things. Look at your syllabus and focus on all that. You need to, you will also get out of syllabus. You don't, don't depend on when you read this, forget about your syllabus. Forget about your syllabus. Focus on and acquiring a lot of knowledge. And the stream of consciousness was coined by William James, impl implemented by Henry James. Popularized by Dorothy Richardson, Richard Stern. Get some idea. So all that you need to get when you read elements, forms, types. And you should also focus on types of no definitions of novels. Three, no three And when you talk about theory of novel, theory of fiction, there are a couple of books, aspects of novel and art of fiction. And uh, there are different writers like E.M. Foster, D.H. Lawrence. And uh, you see another writer, Andy James. They spoke about a lot. Novels are loose, loose baggy monsters given by Henry James. Repeated a couple of times in the history of net. 
novel refers to a bright book of life given by the repeated versions get some idea so all that literary genres <coughs> when you focus on these genres moments this is what very important my friends based on this out of 150 based on these aspects you will definitely get 25 to 30 these aspects what is renaissance reformation metaphysical poetry neoclassicism puritanism restoration romanticism victorian age realism naturalism expressionism symbolism modernism postmodernism with regard to genre with regard to moment with regard to schools with regard to concepts all these are different concepts once you observe latest 2017 APDL, who is the first, who is called first Renaissance man? Answer Jeffrey Chaucer. Who is called first Renaissance, who is, sorry, who is the morning star of first Renaissance man, Sir Philip Sidney, sorry for that. And who is called morning star of English Renaissance, Jeffrey Chaucer. Morning star of English Reformation and, uh, and that fellow John Wycliffe. Get some idea of this. What is Renaissance? What are the schools that are there as a part of this renaissance? You need to know Scottish Azurians, School of Chartist Scottish Azurians, University Wits, Metaphysical Poets, Cavalier Poets, four important schools of poetry. Scottish Azurians, King James Warren, Robert Anderson, William Dunbar, Gavin Douglas, Sir David Lindsay. Scottish Azurian group of poets and University Wits and John Lilly, Robert Green, Thomas Kidd, Thomas Nath, Thomas Law, George Peele, and Christopher Marlowe, the popular university wits. University wits, university school of dramatist. And you need to know some in-depth knowledge. And metaphysical poets, you see, metaphysical school of poetry. And John Dunn, Andrew Marvel, Abraham Cowley, John Cleveland, George Gilbert, Andrew Vaughan, Richard Crescia, Thomas Strand, and all these, the popular metaphysical poets. Who coined metaphysics? John Dryden. Metaphysical, Dr. Johnson. Who wrote metaphysical poet, poets? An essay. 1921, T.S. Eliot. And get some deeper knowledge. What is a common figurative language used by metaphysical poets? Conceit. Conceit can be implicit, explicit. Get some all that stuff, my friends. Get, get that idea. Next, you see Cavalier School of Poets, who are also called Sons of Ben, Tribes of Ben, and Cavalier Poets, Carolyn Poets, Sir John Suckling, Richard Lawless, Robert Eric, Edmund Ballard, Thomas Square, and and Thomas Carey, Francis Quarles, six important uh, writers. Once you check, Sir John Suckling is dash, net bit. Who is the leader of uh, metaphysical poet John Dan? Who coined the word metaphysical? Dr. Johnson. Who wrote metaphysical poets? What is a popular metaphysical figurative, like, figurative tool? Can see it, latest bit, 2018, and Telangana degree lecturer's examination. You find a lot, friends. Next, so these are all different groups. Focus on different, what are the different, and what are the different concepts? Concepts like uh, aphorism, concepts like couplet, hurray couplet, decasyllabic couplet, octasyllabic couplet. What are the popular things and blank, use of blank words? Use of uh, tedgering and use of uh, next to uh, romance, use of scientific method, Bacanian method. Plenty of techniques became popular during Renaissance. Focus on that. Focus on those people. Next, Reformation, religious movement. Begin from John Wycliffe, end in 1611. 1611, the authorized version of the Bible. So get some deeper knowledge about that, my friends. Metaphysical poetry. Next, Neoclassicism. So you need to know all those periods, my friends. Beginning from 1450 to 1945. 450 to 1066, Old English. And 4066 to 1500 Middle and Middle English, 1500 to 1660 Renaissance, 1500 to 1660 can be categorized into four, 1558 to 1603 Elizabethan, and 1603 to 1625 Jacobian, 25 to and 49 Carolyn, 49 to 60 Commonwealth. And you get some deep Puritanism. You also have a concept called Puritan age. What is Puritan age? The period, the period from 1650 to 58. Or in particular, the period from 1649 to 1660 is called Puritan Interregnum, which is also called Commonwealth period, which was under the ruler of Oliver Cromwell. What kind of literature was written during the time? Who are the popular poets? John Milton was one of the major important poets of the time. Andrew Marwell, okay, Zach Walton, Francis Quarles, Thomas Carey, and Thomas Hobbes, 
very very popular poets of the time what is the literature that was written during that period so during that period and john milton becomes blind okay you see and get some new classicism new classicism the period from 1798 to sorry 1662 1798 is called new classical period and this period has been categorized into three 1662 to 1700 and the restoration 1700 to 1745 agustus and 1745 to and 1798 sensibility so what does it mean by new classical literature so what does it mean by new classical literature get some idea what does it mean by new classicism is there any connection between new classicism and classicism yes there is a lot what is classicism the period from 450 bc, BC to and 2 ad which you can say classical period this was the period where you find a lot of writers like aristotle socrates plato longinus horace virgil homer pindar okay next aquilus sophocles plautus terence aristophanes all these were the popular writers not in english they were as actually part of greek latin roman language virgil so according to new classical writers like john dryden alexander pope john oliver goldsmith and other writers they praised the classical literature they simply favored and only they simply said that we need to follow only the traditionalism it is impossible for us to create so that's what a lot of classical literature if you get any doubt like hart's poetica is translated by iliad and odyssey were translated by on the sublimity was translated by and uh, some of the works of aristotle were translated by pindar's works were translated by if you get any bit blindly you can answer one of the writers from neo classical get some idea next uh, so that's what restoration and uh, what are the important uh, schools movements that were there as a part of this and comedy of manners restoration comedy one of the schools of drama john dryden William Congre, William Wycherley, Sir John Etherji, Sir John Vambro, and Sir John Etherji, very very important writers of the time. Leader John Dryden, and who is the opposite person? John Macaulay. Get some basic knowledge about that. Next, what is another scribbler school of dramatic? Scrib- the scribblers club, so a group of poets, and uh, Jonathan Swift, Alexander Pope, Henry St. John, Dr. Arbuthnot, Thomas Parnell, Thomas Gray, Thomas Gray, Thomas Gray, Thomas Gray, Thomas Gray, Thomas Gray, the popular writers of uh, scribblers club what does it mean by scribblers club how many issues it actually published and how did they get the name like scribblers what is the connection between martinus scribblers and the scribblers club next 1740s poets another school of poetry this poetry is also called graveyard school of poetry and it includes william collins joseph watton thomas watton thomas gray and john gay thomas parnell thomas chatterton a lot of writers they wrote a lot of poetry setting on uh, graveyard wrote a lot of elegies like uh, elegy written in the country churchyard next you find another school of poetry transitional school of poetry which is also called pre romantic poetry so oliver goldsmith william blake william cowper george crabbe james thomson the popular transitional poets so all these are what are the important schools of literature during this period and just get some broad idea about then you will definitely have a broad outlook about it you will get who is the leader of scribblers club jonathan then swift and alexander pope leader of uh, cavalier poets leader of uh, comedy of manners restoration comedy john dryden who is the opponent of uh, restoration comedy jeremy collier all these are previously repeated net oriented bits jail oriented bits my friends and graveyard poetry what is the setting of graveyard poetry there was a bit eligibility in the country chapter deals with death deals with loss of values deals with loss of moral values death of an important person answer loss of moral values in hamlet like that you get bits get some idea next romanticism and romanticism my friends what is romanticism what are the popular schools of poetry what are the concepts that you need to focus on what is egotistical sublimity spots of time negative capability fancy imagination willing suspension of disbelief and primary imagination second imagination and a simplistic imagination and waverly waverly novels waverly poems and social novels realistic novels feminist essays all these are different concepts 
that was so popular during romantic period get some idea what is nitric habit what is synesthesia what is what is spots of time what is egotistical sublimity what is fancy what is imagination what is esoplastic imagination what is androgynous what is waverly poem what is waverly novels what are social novels all these are different concepts that were very popular during and romanticism what are the schools lake school poetry satanic school poetry cockney school poetry okay and revolutionary poetry friends historical school of novelist gothic school of novelist see seven eight important types of schools of poetry drama novel get some idea of all that my friends so lake school poetry words with quality sute satanic school poetry robert sute pv shelley lord byron w h hunt and graveyard uh, sorry and you see and uh, cockney school of poetry pv shelley and john keats charles brookden brown and uh, the other writers leif hunt w h hunt and get some broad outlook and uh, historical no school of novelist sir walter scott addison inchworth benjamin disrael and edward bulwell lytton gothic school of novelist william beckford william godwin and radcliffe matthew gregory lewis the po mary shelley feminist school of writers mary wollstonecraft and mary shelley john stuart mill and uh, uh, margaret fuller the popular feminist school of essayist schools of essayist my friends remember so there are plenty about the concepts victorian age at the period from 1798 to 1832 romantic victorian 1832 to 1901 my friends remember and during this period you find concepts dramatic monologue tustern method culture celestinism inscape instress sprung rhythm and a lot of women writers they change their names write under male pseudonyms and you see a lot of schools of literature oxford school of poetry oxford school of literature and pre raphaelite brotherhood essayism decadence and you see social novelist realistic novelist because the period from 1865 to 1900 realism so what is pre raphaelite brotherhood who are the pre raphaelite brotherhood dj rosity belongs to pre raphaelite oscar wilde is the champion of essayism ernest dawson lionel johnson belong to essayism john keble jb pase j h newman belong to oxford school of drama george eliot jane austen charles bronte emily bronte anna bronte belong to realist school of novelist what is the greatest age of english fiction victorian greatest age of english poetry romantic so complete idea where you are required to get realism 1865 to 1900 naturalism 1900 to 1914 expressionism and 19 1910 to 1930s symbolism 1860 to and 1900 modernism 19 not 1 to 1914 to 1939 not 45 this modernism which includes and naturalism expressionism symbolism who coined who is the father of symbolism charles baudelaire who is the father of modern symbolism and and ts eliot and who implemented french symbolism into literature ts eliot Wasteland includes dye symbolism, French symbolism. Next, uh, natural and expressionism, and uh, who popularized the concept called Easternism decadence, Theopol Gautier, who applied symbolism into literature, Charles Baudelaire, Arthur Rimbaud, Paul Verlaine, Paul Valéry, and Stephen Malam. Plenty of uh, the popular French writers who developed the concept called symbolism into literature. Flor Flor de Mal, the popular work written by and and charles baudelaire father of uh, symbolism father of french symbolism what is symbolism how do you look at symbolism into literature because all these are philosophies how can you connect to the school of literature school of drama school of novel that is what very important to you as far as your examination is concerned modernism modernism doesn't mean that you need to read two or three pages no read who are the writers what are the schools what are the popular concepts what are the modern issues and thoughts that and they are trying to talk about see modernism you find a lot of writer theater pops sorry and and war poetry one war poetry two and 
Bloomsbury group and you also find Odin's generation, 1930s poetry. And you can also find uh, absurd, absurd drama, existentialist, surrealist, dadaists and absurdists. Next, uh, moment poetry, experimental novel, experimental school of novel and theater of menace and crime novel. Next, magic realistic novel, experimental novel, apocalyptic novel, utopian novel, dystopian school of novel. So, like there are nearly 30 to 40 important schools of uh, drama which you can find, my friends. You will get simple bits. Who coined the word magic realism? And John Bott, Joseph L. Cut, one got Thomas Pynchon are connected to experimental novel. Rupert Brooke, Wilfred Owen, Siegfried Sass and Edmund Blunden, Robert Grace associated with war poetry 1. Keith Douglas, Andrew Reeds associated with war poetry 2. Robert Brooke, W.S. Davis, John Masfield, John Ringwater, Walter De La Mare, associated with Georgian poetry. And, and you see Virginia Woolf, E.M. Foster, Clay Bell, Latin structure, Roger Fry, John Maynard Keynes, associated with Bloomsbury Group. And Richard Stein, Dorothy Richardson, and Virginia Woolf, James Joyce, etc. connected to stream of consciousness novel. George Lewis books, Gabriel Godse Marquez, Italia Calvino, Isabella Alendo, John Falls, Salman Rushdie, connected to magic realism. Friends, see, there are plenty of things. Debris Auden, Debris Davis, John Masfield, and Cecil Day Lewis are connected to answer the audience generation or 1930s poetry. And Emily Dickinson, Silver Plath, John, John Berryman, and Andrew Britton, and Anne Saxton, Silver Plath, etc., connected to and confessional poetry or confessional school of poetry, which is very popular during and uh, modern period, post-modern period, my friends. Like you find plenty of techniques, plenty of schools of drama. So that is why to have complete awareness about this, read one history of English literature. Don't neglect this area. If you really want to have a wonderful score, what is required? What is required to you when you really want to have a very good score as a part of this? When you really want to have a, this important concept is going to be, and remember, read one history of English literature, which covers Renaissance to postmodernism. And I would suggest you, Oxford Companion to English, I would suggest you the first best book in the world, because I read, I usually read, you see, not an anthology of English literature. I usually focus on not an anthology. I think I think it's, it's not there in my text. I'm not using that. And, uh, and you see, I would suggest you to go for not an anthology of English literature. But if you don't have time to read that and focus on, focus on what? And focus on Oxford Companion to English Literature. Rotary the History of English Literature. Next, uh, and David Deitch's History of Eng a Critical History of English Literature, it's good, but it only focuses on Romanticism and Victorianism. Only Volume 2 is very good. Volume 1, you won't get anything. And I, there are plenty of local books like V.B. Prasad, Pramod Kinair, another book, but they won't focus more on Modernism, Postmodernism. So that is why I would suggest you to focus on Rutledge History of English Literature, the best one which covers and mainly in particular postmodernism. Friends, remember, as far as these bits are concerned, for example, you may get <coughs> based on Renaissance, you may get and uh, three to five bits out of Renaissance Reformation. <coughs> Metaphysical poetry, you may get one or two. And neoclassicism, puritanism, restoration, you will get three to five bits. Romanticism, you will definitely get five to eight bits in your exam. And Victorian age, you will get definitely five to eight bits. Realism, naturalism, expressionism, symbolism, and all these, you may get one, one, one. Modern period, you will definitely get 10. And modern and postmodernism, 10 to 15 bits, minimum 50% of the bits that you are going to have from modern postmodern remember not with regard to the previous and moments schools concepts that is why focus more on the schools concepts and moments of 
20th century modern period post modern, modern period georgian poetry moment poetry war poetry 1 war poetry 2 and bloomsbury group 1 audience generation and apocalyptic novel dystopian novels utopian novels stream of consciousness novels crime novels theater of absurd definitely will get one bit based on theater of absurd like samuel Beckett, edward alvey used in inesco and plenty of other writers so this is what i want you to talk about my friends and friends you see we also offer you and uh, online classes if you are seriously interested for junior lecturers degree lecturers and uh, online or offline are available and you can just get this and number friends and you can make contact that number so that you will get and there is also an app with the same title venkarna english guru app is available online on play store download it if you really want to have online classes for JL, DL, UGC net or TGT, PGT or any kind of examinations related to if you really get any doubts with regard to grammar, English literature and English pedagogy, there are plenty of materials. Friends, I am Dr. Kevin Kanna and did and you see, I, I don't want to talk about and let me let me show you something and uh, I think it is not available, my friends. And uh, I am Dr. Kevin Kanna and you see and who did MA, MA, MPhil and PhD. MA, MA from Usman University and MPhil and PGCT and PhD from EFLU. Qualified different examinations and more than 12, 13 years ago. And all that. Those who are seriously interested for online classes, contact, click the link and we'll see you. And before I conclude, let me read your comments. Friends, ask me any doubts. Yes, your class me to get better score in AP TET. I am always grateful to you until my last breath. Thank you. Thank you. Next friends, see you. See you guys.